Good evening. First tonight, the soaring cost of owning a home and the challenges finding a place to rent are set to feature in Tuesday's federal budget. The Treasurer has vowed that his government will work with the states to try to find a way to tackle the property crisis. Our reporter Phoebe Bowden joins us now with the details from Canberra. And Phoebe, is this the major issue for voters? Natasha, it certainly is. New research reveals just how worried and anxious Australians are about property affordability. Nine out of ten believe that the Australian dream of owning a home may soon become a thing of the past. The federal government has vowed to do what it can, but it won't reveal the measures just yet. Scott Morrison was kept waiting as he tried to shirk the spotlight. All smiles, but the Treasurer's lips are sealed when it comes to the plan for tackling the high price of owning a home. Well, it will all be revealed on Tuesday night. These budget papers contain all the answers, including a comprehensive plan to make owning or renting a home more affordable. The Treasurer believes it's an achievable task, but nearly 90% of Australians think it's so grim future generations won't be able to afford to buy a home. The fear is that young Australians have given up on owning a house and I don't know that the budget will be able to fix that problem this week. But there's some good budget news for pensioners. A one-off $75 payment at the end of June to help with the soaring cost of electricity. $125 for a couple. Nah, that's not enough. A sales gimmick. Great. Political gimmick. <laughs> they give you nothing for nothing. I'm a pensioner, they took it all off us. There'll also be major spending on infrastructure, including $1.6 billion of federal cash to build roads and rail in Western Australia. But Scott Morrison can't keep everyone happy. Debate continues to rage over education funding. An extra $18 billion will be spent over a decade, but 24 schools will be worse off. Some claim fees will rise by thousands over the next five years. The government has redefined find need so that Catholic schools appear less needy. We need to fix this. Ross Fox has invited the Minister and Prime Minister to a meeting tomorrow night, but the government is unlikely to change its mind. We, we are putting significant additional resources into high quality education. It's a very fair deal and it's one that we'll continue to focus on. As the backlash continues over education and university funding announcements, there's no doubt that there's more pain ahead. The government has spoken a little bit about how it plans to spend money, but not too much how it is going to save money, Natasha, and it has some very ambitious savings goals. Phoebe, thank you.